The world is constantly in motion. From the vibration of a tiny atom to the chase of a wild animal, everything must move to survive. And humans are no different. Always forging ahead, making tracks, blazing trails. Around the globe, countless millions of kilometers are clocked up with every passing second of every day. And to help us move with ease and speed, we have come to rely on a brilliant invention, to which we rarely give a moment's thought, but which has played a massive part in shaping the modern world. The tire. Here at the Pirelli test track just outside Milan, Italy, technicians test high-end tires, designed specifically for the fastest road cars in the world. Tires have one heck of a job to do. They must be strong and durable, able to run for up to 128,000 kilometers apiece. They must grip the road at all speeds and in all weather, and they have to give a comfortable ride. How they manage it is a fantastic story of chemistry and engineering. The action begins here at Pirelli's high-tech plant with some state-of-the-art industrial robots and some ingenious smart technology. The tire consists of four main elements. The body begins life as a dual-layered rubber strip called the ply. Ply is made up of a blend of rubber and a synthetic fiber more often associated with home furnishing, rayon. Rayon provides strength. The tire is going to need it. After the ply come the sidewalls. These will absorb weight and pressure the tire will have to face when supporting a two-ton car on the road. To do their job, sidewalls require another component you might think unlikely for a tire, steel. This robot inserts a bracing of steel belts to support the inner part of the tire. On cue, the robot brings ply and sidewalls together. Smart technology means these machines not only know their job, they also know when they've finished. tires look pretty much like the tires on your car, but they're still missing a crucial feature. Tread. The design of the tread is essential to the performance of the tire, but it also has a more surprising role to play. It has to make the right noise. Too noisy and the tire won't get certification and won't make it for sale. In Pirelli's lab, this tire is about to face something unusual, a battery of tests that normally take place after the tire has been completed. If you listen carefully, you will hear something incredibly rare, the sound of silence. The unique design of this chamber means it is almost completely soundproof. A tire must pass through its sound-swallowing examination if it is to make it to the open road. If the technicians feel the carcass is too noisy, then we intervene on the tire to lower the noise emissions. The tire is placed on a treadmill, which simulates driving along a highway. Ultra-sensitive microphones encircle the tire and pass their findings to a computer where the signals are converted to sound waves. Thankfully, for this tire, it sounds like it will make it. 
but something a whole lot tougher is waiting just around the corner. This is a normal road tire, but it's about to be treated like a full-blooded racing tire. Once the test tire is locked firmly in place, the technicians punch in the weight of an average town car. Then, the speed begins to creep up. The idea is to see how the tire performs under extreme circumstances. The tire reaches a nosebleed inducing 350 kilometers per hour. That's faster than a jumbo jet's takeoff speed. Incredibly, the tire remains intact. It has passed the test. Back at the factory, the tire is ready for the final act in its creation, the addition of the tread. This is a curing oven. Its robotic brain calls out for another half-finished tire. As the jaws of the mighty oven open, we get a glimpse of how the curing process works. Each oven contains a large inflatable bladder. As the bladder expands, it'll push the tire against the mold. Steam will then be pumped into the bladders and the tire is cooked at 135 degrees centigrade. This is the mold needed to configure the tread. The tire is pushed into the mold and the tread branded on. In just 12 minutes, the tire will be complete. As the machine opens, the tire gently falls out of its mold, and yet another modern miracle is born. <laughs>